So for those of you at home, do you know what the dirtiest thing in the hotel room is? Anyone in the audience? The remote control. It's virtually never clean. And, and I don't clean much, but I'll tell you what. That's a good thing to take a wipe to when you get yeah, into the hotel room. Yeah. Remember this thing, the little UV thing that you tease me about? Do you I that? keep it now and do the remote. Dr. Tracy Ziven Tutela says the remote control is probably the most handled object in the house, if you can get your hands on it, and that makes it a hot spot for germs. All right, this morning on Today's Health, the 12 germiest places you can encounter in America. Okay, the remote control in the hotel room is the hotel. number 12. Yeah, it's the first thing that people pick up, just like you pick it up when you go in, and it's covered with cold viruses and bacteria. Hey, and don't pass the remote. What researchers find there will have you getting up to change the channel. Remote controls, hotbed for infection. In hospitals, UPI, remote control holds more bacteria than the toilet bowl handle. Journal of Infectious Disease, SARS bacteria found on TV remotes. Study, sick gas left germs on items often not clean between stays, including TV remote controls. USA Today, study finds TV remotes hold more than batteries. Fecal bacteria found on TV remotes. In health news tonight, a new study reveals that watching TV may be bad for your health, but not for the reason you might think. Stay away from the remote control the next time you're in the hospital. So how clean are hospital rooms? The TV remote controls in hospital rooms rank as the top bacteria carrier, even more than toilet bowl handles and bathroom doors. But stay away from the remote control the next time you're in the hospital. But this ranks as the highest, probably because this is the one thing they never think to clean. You know what? I'm just feeling really good right now. about to have this baby going to the hospital thinking. <laughs> Don't watch TV? Don't watch TV. <laughs> Don't touch the TV. Let's go. And yeah. see, that just makes me want to go get that big hand sanitizer <laughs> and be in the just, hospital room just wiping everything just like, down. Yeah, that's for that sure. Just... You know, whether you pay $50 a night or $500, most of us just want a hotel room that's clean and quiet. A black light reveals some of what you miss with a naked eye. You've heard about bedspread, but we checked what you might touch most often, the remote control. At some places, the body fluids were front and center, right at your fingertips. Our room looks clean, but the light shows something on the remote. We followed precise procedures, taking swabs at all locations, then sent them to a lab for testing. The results of the St. Paul Radisson, traces of semen on the remote. At the Holiday Inn Bloomington, the black light not as revealing, but the lab tests show urine. At the Minneapolis Hyatt, semen. If you could see flu germs, you'd see how easy it is to pass <coughs> flu from person to person. Flu viruses can live on hard surfaces for several hours, making it easy to spread. To prevent the spread of flu, catch it in a clean tissue Bin it and kill it by washing your hands or using a sanitizer gel. Flu. Protect yourself and others. Mom, Julie, has the girls washing their hands constantly. And while that helps, a new study shows that when a sick person touches something inside the home, those germs stick to objects longer and can be transferred more easily than even a nervous mom might imagine. Scientists found that once a sick person transfers the cold virus onto a household item, if another person touches that item within an hour, they have an 89% chance of getting the virus. If they touch the item within 24 hours, they have a 69% chance. Even 48 hours later, the virus is still there, and the next hand to touch it has a 53% chance of getting the virus and ultimately getting sick. Viruses can easily be picked up and transferred throughout the house. The study found the most contaminated areas in the home are often doorknobs, refrigerator door handles, TV remote controls. Hospitals under pressure from NBC's Dateline. In fact, the government's Centers for Disease Control says one in every 20 patients, nearly two million people, will get an infection while they are in the hospital. An estimated 99,000 Americans will die this year from hospital-acquired infections. These infections kill as many people in this country each year as AIDS, breast cancer, and auto accidents combined. And they're largely preventable. 
Until recently, hospital-acquired infections were the hospital's dirty little secret. Due to intense pressure from media sources like Dateline NBC and recently introduced governmental legislation, hospitals are being forced to disclose their infection rates and come up with practical solutions. One of the obstacles facing hospitals in overcoming this deadly problem is the use of the antiquated pillow remotes. A study published by the Association for Professionals in Infection Control and Epidemiology states, over 89% of the units cultured positive for microorganisms, including the antibiotic-resistant MRSA. In addition, more than half the units tested contained multiple microorganisms. Numerous cracks and crevices were noted on the units that could allow the access of bodily fluids and bacteria. But according to a clinical study conducted by University of Arizona's microbiologist, Dr. Charles Gerba, bacteria levels found on the clean remote were 99% lower than on all other remotes tested in the study. The data collected showed the clean remote had far lower bacteria counts than any of the other remotes even before being cleaned.